Hello everyone! Today, GenLogin will introduce a series about the automation feature on Gen. This video series will cover all the nodes of GenLogin, helping you to write your own automation processes for your needs. First, after clicking on the automation section, you will find three main parts, my apps, runs, and tasks. In V2, you were familiar with the concept of scripts, which are scenarios with automatic nodes. Now, in V3, you'll get introduced to a new concept, mini-app. Simply put, a mini-app consists of a script and an interface that allows users to easily observe and adjust automation functions. I'll show you an example of a mini-app one have here. When people previously bought your mini-app, they could only see the variables in the input section and might not understand how to set the variables correctly. You need to add explanatory notes in the script section. But now, you have an input form. People can read, understand, and set up these parameters according to their needs. For instance, I'll open the Edit App part to show you. Here, this button switches between Edit Script and Edit Interface of the Mini App. On the left side, there are elements for you to edit the interface of the Mini App. Detailed instructions on these elements and how to use them are in a video, and I will put the link to this video below. Today, I will only introduce this main interface. In the upper right corner, there are several buttons. First is clear. You can click here to delete all the used elements. Next is the review button to preview the external interface, like I showed you earlier, so you can adjust the parameters for this mini app. Then there's save to save the interface and the content of the mini app. And finally publish so you can update your mini app on the store and sell it to other users. I'll go back to the automation part. In the My Apps section, it will display the apps you created or imported from your computer. To create a new mini app, you can click the Create App button here. Then you'll get a new script to create and name them. After that, you can save them for later use. Or, to import an existing app from your computer, you can click the Import App button to upload the scripts you already have. Next to the My Apps section, where I have my apps, there's another section, Subscription. Here, it will display the many apps that you will buy from the store in V3, including information about the name, date of modification, creation, expiration, if you use the mini app and pay monthly, and the version of the mini app. For a mini app, you can create a task by directly clicking on the mini app. For example, here I click on the mini app test. Then I choose the create task button here to name this task. Like YouTube for instance. And then I press create. After creating, this task will be moved to the task section and you will proceed to set up the parameters for this task. First, you will choose the profiles to run this task with the add profile button. Click on it and choose the profiles you want to use. For example, here I choose two profiles. I will tick two profiles and press add. To edit or delete, you can either click the tick here and then press remove, or you can press the remove button at the end of each profile. The next tab I want to introduce to you is the config tab. Here, you can edit the number of profiles running at the same time in this stream. For instance, if I have chosen two profiles and I want both to run simultaneously, I will select the number of streams as two. The Optimize Screen button, when turned on, will automatically adjust the size of the two browser windows to fit your screen. You can observe both browsers running at the same time. The Headless button, if turned on, will run the task without displaying the browser window. So, I suggest you uncheck this or leave it as default so you can observe the automation process in your browser. The Logging button, when turned on, will display detailed logs of your tasks, which nodes fail, which succeed, etc. After editing, I will press save, save and run here to save and run the task. 
I'll run a test for you. The mini app I'm using is already ready, and I will guide you through the nodes in detail later. As you can see here, my screen will have two browsers, and my mini app will open YouTube and then close it. It's as simple as that, I'll demonstrate for you. So, while the task is running, the application screen will be on the run section so that you can observe in detail the running results of each node in this task. The outcome here will be finished, indicating that it has completed the requirements set by me. If the script of mine requires an output, meaning it prints out some data, it will be displayed in this data section. I will also guide on the details of this output part in the upcoming video. Regarding profiles, here are two detailed profiles. You can view the detailed logs of each profile by clicking here. The status of these two profiles after running my task is successful. This will be the time that the profile was run. I will go back to this run part to give a more general overview. This run part will show the results of the tasks run in this task section. It will include information about the task, the mini app one have chosen, as well as the results. Result here means the output. For instance, if I want to scrape data and I generate 100 outputs, it will display the number of outputs that have been scraped here. This is the time. This is the duration for which the task was run. And this is the status. Suppose here it is finished. All three tasks I ran previously were successful. It will show the status as finish here.